Hi, it's Michael here, and I just want to take a couple of minutes of your time to talk about cookies. And uh, here's a cookie notice from the Guardian newspaper online, which is fairly typical of what you now find on all news websites. These radio buttons that you can switch on and off, which granted, they do give you the opportunity. However, most of us don't even bother. We will just click agree. But I click through to see what these options are, right? So that I'm aware of what I'm agreeing to. And pretty much I've stopped now going onto any news website because every single one have got third party cookies that they're installing on my machine, which literally hundreds, if not thousands of people are tracking me now on the web, wherever I go. Now, I'm just highlighting some of the similar comments that they're saying, we're gonna collect information about the content that you've viewed, the content that you've clicked on. We will continue to follow you to see what it is that you're doing on the web. Basically, that's what they're saying. And although they're saying, oh, we want your experience to be better when you're serving, you know, when you're spending time on our services, we want to give you a better experience. That's rubbish. They just want to collect data across multiple devices. And literally the amount of vendors that are there are in the thousands. Um, I'm just going to scroll through some of them. And basically they all say the same thing on the, on the drop down. In this particular instance, they're not even alphabetical. So you can't even find if there is one specific one that you're concerned about. Most of these companies you have never heard of. They are international. A lot of them granted are the US, but many are in, the, in Europe as well. And these are the people that are third party cookies who are also tracking what it is that you're doing. And as you can see, I'm really speeding up to get through them all, but there is thousands of them. And on top of that, of course, you've got Facebook and Facebook's data policy, which you're able to read anytime you wish to. They have information about how they collect as well. And of course, they're collecting on behalf of their third party clients. So what they call partners. And this is the really scary bit. These partners provide information about your activities off Facebook, which they do through a Facebook pixel, including information about your device, websites, purchases you make, the ads you see, how you use their services, whether or not you have a Facebook account or are logged into Facebook. So regardless of you being on Facebook and all of these news websites have got Facebook, they have a pixel installed as well on top of all of the other hundreds, if not thousands of people. Just be aware the cookie monster is very much alive and well. And my recommendation would be do not go onto news websites unless you really don't want to be, or if you do want to be, you know, tracked basically.